we're going to work on loading our weight and going back and forth. Hey guys, Coach Alex Existo here at Jackson Wink MMA in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We're going over pad modalities. Let's continue into the Tyson rhythm. This is a great rhythm I utilize for my fighters to develop power and feel power and really feel the rotation of our punches and soon our kicks going all together to generate maximum power within each exchange. So, obviously based on the name the Tyson Rhythm, we are going to be working off of a rhythm that moves our body backwards and forth, generating power as we rotate in each direction. Real simple, I'll show you guys how to develop this on the pads and how to evolve it into punches, kicks, and some other fun stuff. So, let's check it out to start. First thing we're gonna do in the Tyson Rhythm, I'm gonna stand this way a little bit, is we're gonna work on loading our weight and going back and forth. Now, we don't wanna go too far so we don't get kicked in the head, we don't get kneed in the head, but we're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth trying to get our weight loaded to deliver maximum power. So, what we'll do first in this rhythm is get our fighter going left and right, slip and left, slip and right, slip and left, slip and right. Now we're just gonna start holding uppercuts, getting them used to throwing some simple punches off this rhythm. So, I'll hold an uppercut, oh, he comes back. I'll hold the uppercut, oh, uppercut. Oh, uppercut, oh, slip back to the same side. Now notice when we're doing these drills to start off with, as we're slipping, 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 we're gonna rip the uppercut, we're gonna slip back to the same side. The majority of the time in this variation, that's gonna allow us to continue our rhythm. This is not the way the majority of people are going to fight. When we're fighting, most people don't have the build and the body style to fight like Mike Tyson did and walk in and hunt people down. So we're not learning how to fight like Tyson, but we're really learning how to transition our offense and our defense and everything together. And this is gonna help us fill the gaps in between our strikes. So again, we're just starting with uppercuts. Now we're gonna add in some hooks. They got the uppercut. Now we're gonna add in the hook. And again, remember, we're coming back to the same side. I rip a hook, I come back. I rip an uppercut, I come back. Boom, real simple. Let's add in hooks and uppercuts. So, bolt, bolt. Oh. 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 Same side slip, same side slip, same side slip. Other, other same side slips. simple uppercuts and hooks now let's add in some more weapons for them let's say we could add in straights we could add in jabs now we can freestyle it up a little bit now that they understand how to move left and move right keep their weight centered keep slipping back to the same side that we punched from this is going to allow us to throw any punch in the opportunity that we have open as i slip here as i slip here it could be a cross could be an uppercut if I'm here, it could be an uppercut, it could be a jab. The options are endless. So, have them start to freestyle the punches a little bit. Hold which punch you're looking for. They can throw anything. Tyson rhythm. Hook, cross, hook, uppercut, hook, cross, So, we'll continue to add in more and more strikes off this. Now that we've got free punches set up, we could add in body shots, we could add in anything. We're gonna start to add in some defensive cues. Just make sure they know what's going on and they're responsible defensively. So now, so let's say if we had a plain hook. After the hook, he's gonna roll underneath and throw one more hook. So, if we throw a hook, we're gonna get a roll back into a hook. Same thing on the other side. Any single hook is gonna get a roll back into a hook. So I can start the same thing right here. 
Rhythm. Body shot. Now we got a little defensive action added in. So let's add a little bit more. Sometimes we don't just want to throw single shots. Sometimes we want to spice it up, throw some combinations. Combinations are the heart of effective punching. So now, sometimes I'm going to hold up a plain rear pad. Sometimes I'm going to hold up the rear pad and a hook at the same time, which is going to call for a three-piece punch combination. So if he's in the Tyson rhythm and I throw an uppercut, boom. This is just a plain uppercut. Now I lift up both hands. This is the three-piece. So now he's got a little variation. Oh, I could do the same thing on the other side. Now it's very important, just like in that example right there, that we wait until we are at the correct side in the Tyson rhythm to throw the punch. If I hold up the punch, Nixon rhythm, bang, freeze. And I hold up the punch right here, he's not gonna throw the uppercut right at this position like he did a second ago. He's gonna wait till he gets back to this side and then unload the uppercut, boom, boom. Whatever the finish is, that's a great learning example. We're always gonna go back with the rhythm. We're always gonna wait for it. The rhythm, the thing we're learning about within the Tyson rhythm is the fact that it's gonna take us and our momentum is gonna take us to the opening eventually. So, let's look at this all put together for a second. Real simple, we got single punches coming in any direction. Body shots. We got multiple punches, a little triple punch combination. If they give us a plain hook, we're gonna roll underneath. Throw a hook. Real simple, let's see how it looks. Real simple. Now we got a pretty simple Tyson rhythm set up. You can freestyle within this, throw a bunch of different things, a bunch of different applications. We are next gonna talk about how we can incorporate kicks into the same rhythm, very simply. So if I'm doing this Tyson rhythm, let's say Nick's slipping going to this direction. Oh, slip. Now we're loaded up for the kick. Boom! The kick comes right back in. So let's say he's in the Tyson rhythm. Rhythm, 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 kick. Oh, right back into rhythm. Maybe we throw a punch. Kick. Oh, there we go. If we're throwing this side kick, it's gonna come when the body's on this side. Real simple, Tyson rhythm. And switch. Oh, Tyson rhythm. And switch. Oh, let the rhythm take you all the way there. And hope. Oh, there we go. Real simple. So let's look at that all put together. Low kicks, mid kicks, pretty much the same. You can set them up in a bunch of different ways. Let's look at this flow put together. So. Tyson rhythm. Learn it, figure out how to utilize it. Its applications tend to be transitional. I'm not gonna always hunt someone down in Tyson, but after I finish a combination, I can figure out how to slip and continue my combination. 
as it flows. Coach Alex Existo, Jackson Wink striking. <laughs>